You want to make soundtracks that are awesome, epic, and generally add value to your films? Like this one? Well, you are in Elysium! <laughs> or this one? This one? Get ready! Okay! For what? Go. And you think you need to nail this, 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 or this? Wrong. Even if you nail all that stuff, you're still not guaranteed to be able to make your music fit the picture. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. There are three elements you need to learn and master. They are momentum, depth, and power. First up, momentum. Check this out. Hear that music? That's high momentum, a load of fast-paced instrumentation and busy, complex rhythms. And this is low momentum, the opposite, a very slow and gentle, calm, sparse sound bed. Notice also how in this clip the action is also fast, the edits are frequent, the character is running and there's camera shake. And in this clip it's a continuous shot and practically static with not much happening at all. Anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's go to number two, depth. So this music is light, very high instrumentation, airy, ethereal, quite thin sounding because of the high frequencies. So that's hardly any depth. Let's take a listen to the opposite of low depth. So a lot of depth dialed in. These are the low instruments that make up a more sonorous, thicker and full bodied and deep instrumental palette. By now you've probably gathered that depth controls the mood, colour, shading, tone, what musicians like to refer to as register, as in high or low. I oh, know, crazy simple right? Anyway, last but not least, let's look at power. This clip features a full-on battle scene with a large number of characters. The music therefore mimics this with a large and varied instrumental palette and everything being played with a lot of intensity. By contrast, this scene has only a small and intimate instrumental palette with the instruments being played very, very gently. Love you. And before we die, I want you to know. I know, right? Now for some audience participation. That's you, by the way. Let's grab some footage and apply these three key elements to the footage based purely on what we can see and what that suggests about how to apply momentum, depth and power. So here's a short clip with a vanilla version of a musical theme that we can then change in a moment. So, we can clearly see it's daytime and something to do with the release of all these bubbles. I'd like to ask you to pause this video in a bit and decide on a percentage scale from 1 to 100 how much you would dial in each element. For example, for no momentum you would have that at 0% and for maximum momentum you would have that at 100%. And then do that for each slider. Okay, ready? Now pause. As there are a large number of bubbles, I think the momentum should be very high up. 50% depth will give this enough body to make sure the music echoes the sense of scale in this moment, and the power should be just over half to give the scene enough kick to make sure it's climactic. Nailed it. I hope you chose similar settings as I believe there is a close link between what we see and what we expect to hear. But to make sure this wasn't a fluke, let's do this one more time on a different scene in the same film. Again, let's watch the vanilla version first. So different time of day, slower, darker, more gentle and just one large bubble really. Okay, you ready to set the three elements again? Alright, pause. In this I think we were nearly there. It was self-evident really in describing the scene that there was no momentum, hardly any power implicit in this picture and also the depth needed to be dark so I've turned this all the way to the other side to give us the deeper sounds. And there you have it, the three elements that you need to get closer to your picture. I've been Seb Yeager, see you in the next video.